Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm joined this evening by Mark, Steve, and we've just finished playing On Tour, which is a roll and write game. Uh, you are going on tour around America, and uh, first things first, you have to come up with a name for your band. I was Boyo, the what was it? Was R and B or something? Hip hop. Hip hop. That was it. So that was my band. Um, and essentially, you're trying to plan a route like for your tour around America. Uh, the way it works, though, is uh, somebody's going to draw three cards, thank you, Steve, which indicate where you can add numbers next, and then we roll the dice, and the dice are going to give you two different numbers. So in this case, he's rolled a 1 and a 2. That is a 12, but it's also a 21. And you can put it in the west of America, or the north of America, or in fact, this is the north. So either it has to be placed in the north or the west. So looking on my grid, I could put numbers, like this would be the north here, well, I've got a couple of West numbers, I could put them in here. Uh, but what you're trying to do at the end of the game is get the largest sort of root from the lowest number to the highest number. So you can see I put all my low numbers down here. It can go from the same number to the same number, so that's okay. But essentially you're trying to find a route. And you see I've put a few numbers here and seen I probably connect, I'm going to go around this route here. Um, but what do I, I need to, 21 and 12. So 12 is not going to work, because 12 would sort of have to come in, oh, maybe I could go around here, that would work. So rather than going that way, um, oh no, I can't do this because yeah, Steve's pointing out west and north. Although I'd love to put a 12 here because it would go 9, 12, 14. I can't do that because the restrictions don't allow you to put it in the area I want to. So that's rubbish. Uh, what about 21? Would that go anywhere? Uh, 20. Oh yeah, that's great because I want to try and create my 20 up to my 28 up here so I could stick the uh, 21 in there. Now, another thing is that if it goes in the particular state it's asking for, so like in New York, for example, here or California, or Oregon over there, then, so if it was the one that kind of matched the one on the card, you'd get to put a circle around it. And you can see some of these have got circles around it. At the end of the game, you're getting extra points for going through circles. Uh, a couple of other things. If you roll the same number, like a double, <coughs> excuse me, then that's like a wild, and you get to put a star in a particular place, and that can be any number you want. So that can be very helpful, because as you go through and fill up the board, you can see it's become very difficult. If you roll a number that's just not going to go anywhere, then you have to kind of dump bad numbers places. So like this 83, which is no help for me at the time, um, because my 80s, I was trying to get this at the end here, like I couldn't fit an 83 in anywhere here, so I just dumped an 83. So you kind of, as you go through the game, you're dumping bad rolls, um, but this can be quite restrictive in terms of where you play it. So essentially, you just keep going around, uh, rolling all the dice, and then at the end of the game, you count up your longest route that you can manage that goes from the lowest number all the way through to a highest number uh, without kind of cutting yourself off or getting stuck. So you're counting up how many different numbers you went through and then adding on how many circled numbers you went through and that gives you your final score. What do we think? Oh, it's it's a definitely a game. Um, it's, I guess its strength is probably the push and lock element and balancing risk and reward in the fact that I, w I don't want to get some over here, so I want to leave myself out, essentially, so that I can connect. Get I, I definitely have a route going this way, because I've got a few over there. I leave myself ideally out so that I can extend the route as well. I think that's the best element, other than the fact it's obviously incredibly easy to teach. You could learn the rules literally for what Jonathan just told you, because it is that simple a game. Uh, it's fine, it's quick. Play from and like I said, the push and look bit is is an interesting way of doing it. Steve, <clears throat> for like for looks good, you've always got that dilemma. Um, like, do you kind of get a a rough skeleton route early and then try to kind of kind of extend it around the edges, or do you go do you kind of push your look and you go for the really big things? Do you do you put it in Oregon or do you put it in California? Because if you put it in California, you can circle it. It's worth more points, but potentially you need you then need that thing in Oregon that you you would have had otherwise had you not put it in California. So you've got all that, all that. and sometimes the world you number, yeah, brilliant, yeah, an 82, I need, to, oh no, I can't put it in the south, or I can't put it in the west, and you get those restrictions that way. Um, yeah, I think you, you can even buy up to 12 boards in the game, we've got eight in the game at the cafe, um, so, and it wouldn't really slow down with more people, it's just you playing at the slowest person's pace, effectively. Um, so there's a lot of things going on here, effectively the numbers are meant to represent the tour dates, effectively you're going on tour for 99 days or so on and which states can you visit on which day, and obviously you can't go back in time, and you're trying to do it in the most efficient way possible. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice light colour, I think. Rating? 7 out of 10. Okay. Mark? 6, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think this will go down very well with families. I can certainly see myself playing this with my family, and it's nice to start with. It's like, well, I say, oh yes, I'll put this number here, and I can see I'm planning out a route here. But as you get towards the end of the game, it's like, 
Oh no, <laughs> this number won't go anywhere. Neither will that number. And this great number, this has come up, I can't put it in the area I want to. So it becomes quite frustrating towards the end of the game. It's going to go wrong. I pushed my luck a little bit too much and ended up scoring quite badly as a result in this particular game. So I think it's fine. Um, as roll and rights go, there are others that I prefer, but for a light roll and right, I think that does the job very well. I'd be on a six and a half. All right, thanks for watching. That was On Tour.